Hi, I'm Clara from Spire Laser. Do you know why your protective lens is damaged? And do you know how to avoid these problems for cost savings? Today we are going to figure it out by three videos. Very practical. Please pay attention on us. Let's go! Before we are going to figure out the protective lens thing, we need to go a little deeper of the cutting head. Let us say your cutting head is the Retools BT240. From the picture, you can see the main components. From the top, there are fabric interface, which is connected to the fabric laser source, the upper protective lens, the collimation lens, the focus lens, the lower protective lens, and last, the nozzle. The upper protective lens is for the collimation part. Normally, it will not get damaged unless the condition of installation is not clean enough and there are contaminants get into it and burned. So here, we're not going to put focus on it. But if you have the issues on the upper one, Please write it in the comment below or contact us directly. We are going to follow a video to get more. It was in Chinese when we took the video. The background sound is not completely erased. So if you know some Chinese, it may be of some help to you. The white horse is used for the auxiliary gas. The gas passes through the cavity of the lower protective lens and blows to the plate through the nozzle to achieve the desired cutting effect. When the gas passes, it forms a vortex in the lower cavity of the protective lens and discharged along with the cutting process. I'm going to open the cavity of the protective lens. What you see now is the whole side of the protective lens. The main function of the lower protective lens is to block debris from the splashing, preventing splashes from damaging the upper cavity and reduce reflection. Why the protective lens is called consumables? What contaminant will damage the lens? We'll list the common problems. Number one. There is a black dot at the lower side of the lens, which probably indicates the lens has been broken through by the laser beam. The reason why it happens is that the power of the machine is too large, which also means the model of the protective lens may be wrong, or the protective gas is not turned down and no gas at all. So you need to check whether the gas is running normally when the machine is working, or you need to examine your protective lens are qualified for your machine power. Number two, if white spots appear, it proves that metal slags went up to the inside of the head during the cutting process and entered the lower cavity of the protective lens. This means that the piers or cut parameters were set not very accurate, which leads to the slacks, especially when you cut the thicker plate, like more than 6 millimeters. The thicker the mantle, the longer the pierce time, the more possibility of slacks. That is also why compared with cutting thin plates, there will be more consumption of protective lenses for cutting thicker plates. You need to check your parameters. Here, because each machine has its own temper, we cannot give a unified parameter. Please make appropriate adjustments according to the actual situation. If you are looking for the protective lenses, a video up here is going to help you to find the suitable models. Hoping this video will give you some support on dealing with your laser machines. Are you going to start to warm up to us? And do you have another issues on the laser machines? Please put it in the comment below. I can't wait to see what you come up with. 
Well, thank you so much for joining me here today. Please subscribe me here, and uh, I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. Next week, we are going to continue the topic on protective lenses. Bye.